right, you folks and fish. What you're going to need for this lookout area is basically a big ol' open field perfect for running in. And I've seen quite a few of these lookout areas online, so there's obviously lots of different ways you could go about this, but ah. But today I'm gonna show you how I did it. And lucky you just keep on running. Okay, so you've got your field, congrats. But because this is going to be different for everyone, depending on where you're putting this, the things surrounding it, blah, 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 blah. What I would do is think about this in kind of like three different layers. So the first is this pathed area down here for looking. The second layer is where the river is going to go in between. And the third is for the terraformed land that you can put whatever junk on it that you want. So basically what I'm saying here is you're gonna want a decent amount of space. And so in order to not waste your entire life terraforming, I suggest just starting with where you think the third area, the land, will go and just make one line of terraformed land all the way across where you think that this is going to start. So keep in mind, this is the front for all of you taking notes. Write that down, write that down! Next, we're gonna do the same thing with where the water would start. Again, just one line so you can kind of like eyeball if you like the distance or not before you spend a bunch of time terraforming and hating me. But if you think you like how things are looking, you can now just go ahead and do the entire third area. And I don't know why I named things like this. Why am I this way? That's why. Okay, so once you have this lookout area pathed, you can begin filling in the water areas. So I only did three rows of river, and instead of finishing this off, I'm actually now just going to switch over to working on this raised area back here. And the reason I'm doing this, and I recommend doing this, is because on each of the sides, I would like to do some little circular areas that I can add trees and flowers to. So I'm going to, instead of finishing off the water, just go ahead and extend these out, and then go back into filling filling the water in, again, just to try and make your life a little bit simpler doing these pieces by pieces. Also would like to add one little tree on this lower level here so I'm gonna go ahead and sketch this area out again and then go ahead and pop that tree and some other foliage in here before again going back to the water. switch things up on this side again I'm gonna have a tree above but I'm just going to on this lower level here do a little tiny bush and a flower patch but again you could do whatever you want so at this point I would come back around and take a look at how things look from the front because that's what matters All the ugly people be and this is where you can decide if you would rather have a little more water or maybe shift the paved land up a little bit more. For me, I believe I had a total of five rows of straight just river all the way across with, keep in mind, four additional rows that are partially water, partially the little land bits if that's helpful for you. Once you're happy with the ratios though, and again, this can be whatever, we're going to come all the way to the back of the bus to add in two more rows of land all the way across to add in some waterfalls and trees to this area. So just as a fun fact, if you didn't want sand everywhere like I did earlier, but you do want palm trees, you can just put one little patch of sand down, pop a tree on it, and no one will really be able to tell. Mm -hmm. 
once you have your trees or flowers or furniture or whatever your heart desires up here, we're gonna add one more layer to the middle and then pop in some waterfalls. So for the final time, this is something that you can definitely put your own spin on or look up other people's inspiration for this or just directly copy it down to a T with what I'm doing by extending the land out with two more rows so that we can add in some second level waterfalls. If you're short on space, I think you'd really only need to add in one more row, which leaves you at at least four rows of land in addition to the nine for water. So again, if it's helpful, I would plan to have around at least 13 spaces long if you're trying to do something similar to me for the water and terraformed land. But because I'm looking at this and just love to make things difficult, but who can blame me? We saw my brain. I'm going to add two additional rows, making it a nice 15 spaces so that I have three second layer rows, which allows me to put some trees and larger furniture items up here. So cute. So for the furniture ideas, I kind of like how the hedges look if you want to be classy, but I also love this fencing because you can see through it and I just like the color. But for my resort vibe, I think I'm going to go with the rope because it's also a little bit more see-through, but I think it makes sense with the resort. Actually, I fully lied to you. I like the blue. And so I crashed on the top when I'm lying in bed just to get it But I was in my head and I can't feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it What's going on? Okay, so you could again put anything here, but I'm gonna go with more plaza type stuff with this bench and a looking through thing and some street lamps, keeping it pretty simple. And for final touches for this land behind here, I'm going to sprinkle some more flowers around and maybe put, if you want, like because everybody has access to it, I think it's cute if you had a lighthouse in the middle up here. What I'm gonna do is actually replace that lighthouse with this pyramid that I shook out of a tree and instead put my lighthouse over here, which is closer to the water, which may make more sense anyways. But yeah, that is everything. If you are trying to plan something like this out, I would recommend kind of mentally planning for 20 different spaces so that you have enough room if you're trying to do something on this big of a scale. But I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and your support. You are all too kind and wonderful. So I'm gonna go cry now. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.